Hey guys, great Sarah here, back with some more Tales of Berseria, and if you haven't missed the last episode, we killed the Code Red Demon, and then we wandered into the, the forest of Wog, and now we're here, in the middle of the forest of Wog, going to continue onwards and find this so-called demon that's elusive and apparently tormenting people, but... Before we go find that said demon, be sure and hit that like button as hard as you possibly can, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, also, we have a expedition that we need to go see what we get from. Hopefully it's something good. Take a look at this. Nothing good. Mysterious meet a pirate flag, a siren crew. Wait, wait we, st we literally stole someone's Jolly Roger. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe we. Scout ship setting sail. I mean, we. I can't believe we actually um stole someone's Jolly Roger. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> That's kind of rude. So what does this Solitoma flower look like exactly? In a word, ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. An ugly flower. All right. I'll keep an eye out. An ugly fly Jesus, that is ugly. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm really sick of this rain. It's really annoying. By the way, do you know what Solitoma means in the language of flowers? Was it deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful coexistence. <laughs> the perfect flower for us. <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said. Moggy Lou is right, isn't she? Could be. Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. You and I shared an eternal vow that binds us together. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. <laughs> Madam Eleanor, you're so cold. Dry your eyes, Bianfu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're the only one for me, honest. Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am. I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Lafayette, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception. Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> uh, yeah, I think that's a good example of that. Very good example of that. You could also say the same about the One Piece crew. Uh, you have a rubber person, you have a bounty hunter, a sea cook, a pirate thief, an archaeologist, a ship dismantler, a reindeer, a coward, and a skeleton. You could really say that same thing about the One Piece crew. None of them... I have to abandon it. No, I have to abandon it. <laughs> you know, I'm really sick of this rain. Like, it's, it's a lot of rain. It's a lot of rain. Okay, Squirrel Badger, you can literally leave me alone. I don't want, I don't want any part of it. I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Nothing over there. Not one of those boar pig thing in... It's a grass wolf. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. No. Leave me alone. 
Damn, I missed the cat soul. I wanted that. Oh well. Ah, more of that. Right, I wonder where this so called demon is located. I mean, we gotta be getting close to it, I would Those think. Those purple leaves belong to a Salatoma. Be on the lookout for the ugly flowers. Ugly purple flowers. Got it. Well, they're around here, but it looks like someone ate them. Does the demon eat the flowers? Questioning. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised. This rain is really annoying. Like, really annoying. La da da, la -da -de. More squirrel badgers. And a weird boar looking thing. No, I wish we could pick these mushrooms up. They look like they make good stew. What's this cat? Cool. Something I don't have. Or I do have, and I just never paid attention. And we'll run over here. I'll grab another cat still. You can literally go away. Wonder what this way is. Where does this lead? I'm sorry, what now? I can't go back that way. This might have been a mistake. Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> there is a Code Red Demon over here. Cool. Wait, that means that might be the demon that everyone's talking about. Hmm. Interesting. There's a lot of cat souls. I am happy. Because I need more. Because I guarantee I'm going to come across a cat's box one day. It's going to be like, you need 222 cat souls to open it. I'm going to be like, no, I'd rather not. Because I don't have that many. <laughs> Obtained. So hopefully I don't die immediately to this one. The last Code Red Demon actually sucked. It was like did no damage and it was actually pretty pretty easy to kill. But maybe this time we'll do the exact same kind of thing. Because if it does a crap ton of damage to me, I'm not going to survive. Squirrel Badger, you can literally leave me alone. Like, you can literally leave me alone. No, no, leave me alone. Thank you. A chest! Aw, oh, it's not one of those bottles. I, don't, I can't afford any more of them. Makes me sad. Yeah, you can leave me alone too. And some kind of powder thing. Oh, what? I'm sorry, is, is there like a... There better be a thing to open this over here. If not, I'm gonna be kinda irritated. There isn't. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, what is it? Let's see if we can get a look at it. It's a plant. I'm questioning it because of the fact it's a plant. How big is this thing? Because if I'm thinking this outright, it could be like that one Zelda boss in um, Twilight Princess where it was like a giant ass plant that came out of the ground. And freaking ate your soul. And I'm just like, I'd rather not deal with that. Do, 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 is, is that seriously where it is? I have to go all the way around to get to it? That's a load of crap. Dropping down. No, no, leave me alone. I have to get on the other side of it, really? Hey, 1,500 gold. I'll gladly take 1,500 gold. Okay. Plant, plant wolf. Holy Jesus. I did not expect it to be able to come that far. <laughs> yoink, yoink, yoink. I'm gonna have to come back this way, so... Since I'm gonna have to come back... We'll go cold kill the code, code Red Demon, and then we'll... Make our way. I'm kinda curious what that way is. I'll go that way next. 
I feel like this is gonna get me lost because I I'm gonna get lost. Dude, you almost got me. That would have been really bad for you. Really bad for you because you would have died. Okay, Zach, you can't handle this. Okay. Here we come. Here we come. Trying to kill the holy Jesus. That thing is freaking enormous. Like I said, I wondered how big it was. Now I know. And now it's dead. Are we ready for this? I'm gonna eat you, you stupid plants! It's just one plant. We can easily take one plant. It's one measly plant. Yeah, see, we could take one measly little plant. Okay. If I can just get one more soul out of it, I can easily, easily mince meat this thing. I just need one more soul. That's all I need is one soul. What the hell is it doing? Oh, Loppy said it's gonna go downtown. Ah, okay. Well, it doesn't, you know, it's actually surprisingly it doesn't do as much damage as I thought it was gonna do. Yes, it's not guarding anymore. Now we can beat it down. Charging, charging, charging. And now we go into full assault mode! I did some nice damage to that stupid plant. Yeah, frick you, plant! Nice try, plant! You can't handle me. It break. Okay, retreating for the moment to grab an item. Apple gel. There we go. Got some food. I will eat you, plant. Apparently a resistance to that, that's kinda sucky. Okay, so it does do quite a lot of power attacks. Wanna keep an eye on that. Don't wanna get taken down too far from it. He's blocking. I have five souls right now. Oh, that's a load of... That's a load of trash. Item. Life bottle. Bang. Revive me. Okay, backing up, and then we'll... I can't use an item again for this. Heal me. Now I'm ready to eat you, you stupid plants. You were so close to dead anyway. I have one HP right now. Retreating, retreating, retreating. Because I have one HP right now. So wait. What does this do? Restore all status. Of... Wait, no, no, I want this one. Give me health. Making a quick mad dash. <gasps> Soul. Yoink. Right. What? I can, I can get. Okay, and one more apple gel for the road. Beautiful. Let's eat it! And this is a perfect place to stand because I get full health. Great boost. Nice try, you stupid plant! Oh, go unconscious. Get destroyed! Breakdown! 
all here. Beautiful. I'm not like getting any XP for that. It's kind of unfortunate. Well, there goes a number two code red demon down the to down the drain. Another life bottle. Heck yeah! I can always use a refill of those. All right. A lazy mushroom? Was that a mush? A I think it said lazy mushroom. I could be wrong though. Okay, yoink. Grab another capsule. And what do we got over here? Lavender. Mm. Alright. Killed that. Now we can move onwards to the. That, we'll go that other way and see what the heck that, that direction leads. Because you never know. Might lead somewhere cool. Might lead somewhere super cool. La di da, la di di, la di da, la di di, la di da. Yeah, took that beastie down. He couldn't even do anything to me. We've become so powerful. We've able to kill code red demons without even like flinching. Wait, is that got purple on it? No. So in other words, that might have not been the demon that was actually causing all the havoc. So I wonder what demon it is then. Hmm. It's probably like some person that has demon blight and they're probably actually a nice person. Kind of like um, the lizard dude. I forgot his name. It'd be really hilarious if, if it's something like that. I regret my decision effective immediately. I don't know where the hell I am anymore. Yep. This is unfortunate. This is why I should not be allowed to, like, wander around. Because I'll get lost. Cat's box! I don't even know why I bother freeing you. You never give me anything. Like, actually, why do I bother? <gasps> Exorcist. This'll be fun. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. Let's eat you. You useless exorcist. What are you gonna do? You, you're you're gone. You're gone, Ski Galaxy. And you're gonna get you. Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inomnot's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. Huh. Hey, I finally got a level up. Heck yeah. Finally. So apparently this is the direction we need to go. More badger squirrels, more wolf, uh, plant wolves. And another uh, gate thing that will keep me from doing things. Cool. No, leave me alone. Hmm.
Now, I'm coming to the conclusion these gate things are kind of useless. Because all they seem to do is, like, nothing. They don't block your path at all. Oh, there's some there. What's in there? Ooh, a sash. Spiffy. <laughs> so I blocked that direction. What good did that do? I can still just go around. Ooh, plant. I like plant. I need plant. Give me plant, Verbena. Plant wolf, beat it. Plant wolf, beat it. No, 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 beat it. Get away from me. Yeah, yeah, you stopped. What were you gonna do, plant wolf? Hmm. <laughs> you ain't gonna do crap. Oh, a save point, which means up next is the demon. Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and save before we go fight a demon, because it's never a good idea to go fight a demon without saving, because then you can't, like, back up if you die. Yep, this is the demon. What is it? It looks like a dead end up ahead. Lucky set. Do you feel anything here? No, not right now. I see flowers. Uh, look, purple flowers. Yep, Solitoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. Must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Another barrier! That barrier... Even my Praetor Hearts can't break that! What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way... I don't think we're hauling home any flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right! Everyone, let's do this! Um, am I the only one that th sees this thing as like Mega Gurus from Godzilla vs. Mega Gurus? I mean, I mean, it looks exactly like Mega Gurus. I mean, it totally looks like Mega Gurus. That, uh, no, it's not. Well, apparently, this bug hates uh, Magi a lot. Kind of learn. Who does power hits? That person who does power hits needs to continue doing power hits. Oh. My A attack does power hits. Well, surprisingly enough, it does no damage. Which is awesome. Because that means it makes my life a hell of a lot easier. I need... 
I need another soul. Then I can just do another ultimate attack. Thank you. See? I summon for a soul, I get a soul. Okay, I almost have my lethal pain again. If I can get lethal pain, I can easily munch, munch this thing. It's just flying along. Wait, I don't have a soul anymore. What the hell? Where'd it go? Thank you, unconscious. Why'd I lose a soul? Stop guarding me, you annoying bug. Oh, he slowed me. You trash bug. Blocking, blocking, blocking. Got him slow. Now no. Can you not run off like a little scaredy pan? You stupid bug. Stupid Mega Gurus, I'm gonna kick your ass. Of course, it goes unconscious right when I try to go do something. Ugh, hey. Need a soul. Anybody want to give me a soul anytime soon? That'd be nice. Then I can do things. Thank you. Finally, now I can eat you. And that's how you munch him. Another unconscious one, let's go! Ooh! Munched him! If I can get one more soul, one more time, and not knock this guy out, then I can easily, easily mince beat him! See? Doing like a. Never mind, he knocked me out. Okay, I have my soul, one soul back, but I need another one. Did that thing just kill Magyu? Oh, I can easily save her by giving her a life bottle. I just need one more soul! God damn it! Give me the soul so I can end this stupid bug's life! Oh my god. We're both unconscious. A soul! Yum! I need. Oh, I do! I have it! Yes! Lethal pain! Eat it! Yum! It's dead now. Phew! Insect collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Keep him? No, hand it over. I'll dispose of it. Aww. The 
Gabby had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. You want it, you feed it. I will! I'll take care of him! Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise. But I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh! I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. One less bug to go around. Cool. Hmm. I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? So, Eleanor apparently can't take down a barrier. Yet Velvet can take her use her hand and eat the barrier. I'm not gonna question it. Hey, a portal. Cool, we can get the heck out of here. Alright, but... That is going to do for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. And also be certain to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, before we actually go, we're going to go ahead and get this expedition because apparently we got one. Look at this. So let's see what we got. Aw, so close to getting three wins. Wow, they found a whole bunch. Sounds so excited. Ah, oh, we have a new skill. Awesome. And we'll go there now. Scout ship setting sail. Cool. Cool. But with that being said, take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more videos. Later!